everyone. So today I want to talk about how I feel that I am as miserable as when I was a Christian. And what I mean by this, it's not that I feel like, oh, my life is so horrible. You know, I'm so miserable. I just want to die. That's not what I mean. What I mean is that when I became an atheist, I realized very quickly that the same emotions that I had as an atheist were the same ones that I had as a Christian, except that when I was a Christian, I was covering them up. I was using Christianity as like a band-aid to cover up those feelings. It was almost like, um, like a drug. I was using it as a, as a drug or as a coping mechanism. And it wasn't really helping me solve those problems. It was just keeping me in denial of them. And I think that just like in some times in my life, in, in certain circumstances in my life, I have used alcohol or shopping or other things to distract me or I've used them as a drug to help me cope with the internal pain or turmoil I did the same with Christianity and I didn't think I was doing that. But I think that, you know, when you go to church, at least it's been my experience, I'm not saying that this is truth for everybody at all whatsoever. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just giving my experience. Because when I look back, I see, okay, well, when I went to church, you know, and you're singing the hymns and you're praying and you're together with everybody it just gives you this feeling of like a high it's like a high that's how I felt but then you know and it helps you and you feel good and warm inside and fuzzy and you feel close to God and you have all these positive emotions but it's very similar as when you get you know drunk or something you know when you have a glass of wine you have this high but then eventually that passes and you feel the same sadness or anxiety or depression or anger, but then you go back, right? So you get another fix. So you never really realize that that's what you're doing. And I think that that's what I was doing. I didn't realize I was doing that until I had left, you know, Christianity. So I was using religion as a way to put like a band-aid on my problems and that band-aid was so big that it made me feel like those problems were not there even though something inside always felt uneasy and it always felt like you know I really don't get this I really don't know what I'm doing I'm confused I feel lost you know but it's because everybody else seemed that they knew what they were doing or that they were doing the right thing I felt like, well, maybe I need to keep trying. Maybe I need to read more. Maybe I need to study more so that I could feel and, you know, like these people feel. So that I can get it, you know, because I wasn't getting it. And I also think that one of the things in religion is that when you feel like hopeless and confused and things don't make sense or you're angry or whatever, you have negative emotions, what you're taught is to say, oh, you know what? Just have hope. Just have faith. Just believe. You know, and things will get better. You know, if you keep believing, if you keep praying, if you keep hoping, and it's like you're chasing your own tail and you never really catch it. And then if things don't resolve in this life, if you don't get your prayers answered or your questions answered, don't worry. When you get to the next life, then you'll get it. Then it'll happen for you. So you just have to keep believing. So I think that what atheism did for me was help me realize that I was putting a band-aid on my problems, on my issues. And that now, I didn't have that anymore. I couldn't, I couldn't go back to that anymore. That I had to face my problems one by one and deal with them and try to find a way that was, um, you know, a way to deal with them in a positive manner instead of a destructive manner because I could go and get drunk and 
go shopping and do all these things. I could go do that and I have done that, but that hasn't solved the problem either. It's just made it worse. And even though Christianity didn't quite make it worse, it never really solved my problems. So now it was like taking away that crutch and saying, okay, woman, now you have to deal with these problems. You have to find a solution to them. You cannot be putting out a band-aid anymore. You cannot be covering them up. You cannot be in denial of them anymore. They're right there in front of you, and this is reality. And I think that a lot of times what happens is that because reality is so harsh, at least that's how I feel, because it's so harsh, we try to cover it up and try to pretend it's not there or try to find ways that make us feel better. And we do that either through religion or through drugs or both. So I think that's it for today. Thank you for listening. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.